What's up guys? So I just wanted to make a quick one for you guys, throw one at you real quick on uh, flashlights. You know, it's, uh, it's something you may not think about. You know, I've had a ton of them. I got a ton of them. You guys can see back there. I got a few of them laid out there. Just gonna go through a couple of them. Not make the video too long. You know, we don't have to go through every single one of them, but just wanted to bring up some points on a couple of them. You know, the, the cheaper lights may surprise you. They surprise me. You know, for the cost of some of them, you know, I need my flashlight. They, each flashlight serves a purpose. You know, I use them for different ways and different places on the car and all that stuff. But, you know, the number one thing is for them to produce light so we can see. But just want to take you guys through a couple of them here and uh, show you a few of them, see what you guys think, tell you my, uh, what the things I like about them, maybe the weaknesses on them and things like that. So check it out right after this, guys. All right, guys. So I got them all spread out here, about 15 of them. Like I said, we're not gonna go through each and every one of them, but you know, a couple of these cheaper ones, you know, it, they really shocked me. You know, I've been using a couple of these for the past maybe six months or so. I had a couple companies send me a couple of them, um, you know, the smaller tactical ones and things like that. You know, they're pretty decent. I mean, for the price, you know, compared to the tool truck brand, you know, like Snap-on, I think I got a small Mac there and a little pocket Mac Light. you know, I got for breast cancer awareness and stuff like that. Uh, my wife mostly uses that one, pink one. They shock me. I mean, it's, it's a decent light. Um, you know, maybe I'll put a link down in the description where to pick these up on, at Amazon. But uh, these things are nice. I mean, it's, you know, I've dropped them. You can see the rubberized texture is starting to wear out a little bit, you know, cosmetic issues, but, you know, it definitely throws light. It's nice and bright. It's got the, uh, the work light, and then it's also got a little pen light at the top. A little dual action button there. I believe it's got settings. You hold the button in, it dims red. I don't know if you guys are picking that up on there. So it's got a few settings. SOS. I mean, these lights are pretty uh pretty nifty it's got the magnetic base on there it's got the little hook obviously you need the hook in case it's not metal but yeah they articulate this way and this way so you could get them down in the tight areas but yeah it's been a cool little light like i said guys i'll, I'll try to leave a link on this one here's its little brother pretty much same deal you know it articulates it's got all the setting. This one throws some lights too. Throws some lumens. I want to say these are maybe six or 700 lumens on the big one. This one's, I think, 500 luminance. But yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, for a cheap light, I mean, it, surprisingly, they work well for what I need them to. You know, I think uh, they, they're waterproof. I want to say I dropped this one in coolant still works just fine you know a few of these i've dropped in coolant they pretty much stop working I try to dry them out and they still don't work but i mean comparing it to you know this little pocket size one compared to the snap-on one i mean for the cost you could probably buy two of these i think i paid maybe 12 bucks for this light this one i paid maybe 20 bucks 25 bucks or something it's got the uv on this one i'm sure you guys seen this one it's another great light by snap-on it's got the magnetic side on there you know, I don't know why they do it on the side. It's not even that strong. But it, the bottom's not magnet. Like this one's magnetized on the bottom. But yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, pretty shocking. Then, of course, I got, you got the stream lights. This is pretty much my go-to light. Been using this one for years. Plenty of lumens. It's got the strobe, the dim, all that stuff. I'm sure you guys seen this one. Button up top. But, uh... Yeah, this one, this one's my go-to. Got the little base right there, leave it charged up. And then I got my first light pretty much I ever bought 
first type of light I ever bought. I actually lost my first one and second one, but it's the old school condescent stream light. I mean, back then, guys, I, I thought this was enough light before LEDs came out and were popular in flashlights. Yeah, this is what I had to look at underneath hoods and underneath these cars. The bulbs would go out, you drop them in water, this little protective uh, top would crack, and then it actually had a little, uh, a little foam thing under here where the battery is. You could stash another light bulb down into the foam here because the, the bulbs would go out constantly. But yeah, I, uh, you know, I still grab this one here and there if I'm, all my lights are charging. Not really though. I just like it. It's kind of uh, sentimental to me now. Put that back on the charger. But yeah, these tactical lights, these are pretty cool. Uh, let me get you guys set up. I want to show you, show you a couple of these here real quick. All right, guys, just want to dive down in these real quick. So this one I got from Interstate. Pretty cool light. It's got the charger, of course, like all of them. Um, this one's that mini USB. Most of these are mini USB. They're switching over to the C type now. But, uh, you know, I got probably got more USB chargers anyways. But this one's uh, pretty cool. It's got plenty of brightness. And then it's also got the... Uh, little slide light you can throw more light little workstation light but yeah you used to have a magnet at the bottom it popped out but it's been holding up pretty good it still works I noticed with these tactile lights the battery starts to go first you could you could start to tell that you know six hour runtime turns into five hours then four hours and then all of a sudden you're charging it constantly you know so I kind of stopped using them but this one I'll, I'll still use every now and again for this feature here it's pretty cool I thought that was kind of neat. And then you got the little cheapos from uh, AutoZone. This one actually came with uh, different tops. It was like kind of a module light or module where it had, you know, the top part. That thing didn't last long, pretty much broke. It was plastic and green. First time dropping that one, it broke, pretty much dry rotted and broke off. But yeah, this one's still pretty bright though, still works. It's got a couple settings, dim. You know, I don't like those lights where when you turn on you got to click them 16 times to turn them off that's kind of how this one was you know sometimes you just want to look and then turn it off but that one you got to kind of cycle through so another 18650 battery in this one but it's held up sorry right, dropped it a few times you know you got to run over them a few times make sure they're good lights and then you got uh, you got this one company sent to me pretty decent about a month or two back uh, been using the crap out of it put a little couple uh, rubberized things on there for bumper protection on there takes an 18650 <clears throat> but it's pretty decent too it's got the uh, 18650 battery in there you can switch out the batteries or obviously charge it on the charger get a couple of them that way you're not waiting for it to get charged up if it goes dim while you're using it that's a decent one I'll try to leave a link for this one called uh, soup fire Chinese brand. It does the job though for a tactical light. Then you got uh, this one. I think I had this one. I got this one from uh, a magazine or something. I, I, maybe AutoZone or I think it was Napa actually. Got this one from Napa. Another tactical light. I like this one. This one definitely has the on off and then you could dim it. I believe you hold it. Most of them all the same features. You can see it dimming and it does the strobe. But nice tactical, definitely uh, definitely built well. You could tell it's uh, it's a decent light, and I like how they all take the same 18650 batteries. So here's the charge port on this one. Another MIDI USB. That's that one. And then I got this one. This one lately has been my go-to light. Had a company send this one over to me. It's a Morph Pilot or More Pilot the company's called it's pretty decent light same thing mini USB it's got the on dim strobe and then this one's also got the you could dial it in by pulling it out it's pretty decent light definitely built well charges pretty quick I want to say 
on high, it's so far it's still new, but on high it lasts five or six hours. You know, high, high, high five hours, medium six hours, and then low setting, maybe eight hours or something like that. But uh, it's been a pretty good light. I'll leave a link to this one down in the description, guys, if you want to pick this one up. This is probably my favorite out of the, the three here, the three mini tactical lights. I like this one. It's got the little clip on it. So, and then I also got, uh, they also sent me this uh, little uh, 25 in one. This thing's pretty sick, man. Definitely built, built pretty nice. It's got the pliers in it, all your little uh, knives and files and all that stuff. You got to have a multi-tool. Everybody's got to have a multi-tool. Going off subject here, want to stay on the flashlights. Just wanted to show you guys that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm going to send me this stuff. More pilot. Like I said, I'll leave an Amazon link to this guy. Pretty cool stuff. But yeah, guys, I, I didn't want to drag this one on, but you know, I just wanted to kind of bring up some points. You know, I've seen some videos out there on YouTube on these flashlights and things like that, what works for people. You know, like I said, I've I've probably had about 50 of them this year. I've went through about 50 lights. You know, gotta have gotta have flat my flashlights. You know, I love them. Got a little charging station here. For what you're paying for the tool truck ones, I mean these are cheaper ones they're pretty surprising you know even even if you know you're paying 10 20 bucks for these I mean this thing's served me well it's nice and light you know it does what I need it to do it, you get in there see what you're doing and get out you know anything else you take out the break break out the hood light or the floodlight or whatever but you know for a little handheld flashlight you know these cheaper these cheaper ones these little pocket style tactical ones and these little flip lights these articulating ones it's the way to go man I uh you know, ain't got to worry about dropping it in coolant like this one. You notice I have two of the same uh, snap-on lights here. Uh, I actually, uh, I left this one. It's got the magnetic base, and I actually left this one stuck to a car. So I went ahead and bought a new one, and then the car came back, and, and uh, it was still stuck to it. So it's good, good magnet, you know. So I got this one back. It ended up cracking somehow, maybe from the cold or something like that. But yeah, it ended up coming back home to me. So now I got two of them. But just goes to show, I mean, you, you accidentally leave one of these under a car or lose it or break it, whatever. You know, you just lost a, you know, $150 light, $200 light, whatever this cost me. You know, with these ones, you know, you, you, leave, you drop it in some coolant or whatever or run it over on accident. You know, if it breaks, so what? I mean, grab another one. Hop online, order another one up from Amazon. You know, buy these suckers in bulk. You know, that's how I think of it. Lights are just to help me see me do my job, you know, so. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think of these flashlights. You know, what's your take on cheap light versus tool truck light, you know, expensive flashlight. You know, yeah, I could probably say those snap-on lights are going to last me longer than the cheaper ones, but for what I paid for it, you know, it better if, you know, I mean, it's, you're comparing lumens. I mean, 700 lumens is 700 lumens. 1,000 lumens is 1,000 lumens. You know, light puts... That's all these lights do is they, they, they help you see. So, you know, it doesn't need to be anything fancy if you ask me. So let me know in the comments, guys. What do you guys think of these cheap lights? What lights do you guys use? Uh, also wanted to mention, too, we're about 10 away from the 2K, hitting 2,000 subscribers. Guys, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Love all my subscribers. You guys, uh, I'll just keep trying to upload this great content for you guys. We got that Solus giveaway. I'll probably be doing the uh, November tool giveaway. Probably, maybe tomorrow I'll shoot the video or the next day. Get those tools in. You guys uh, be looking out for that video if you want to get in the next uh, monthly giveaway. Got that coming up. But yeah, just want to do a quick one on these flashlights, guys. Like I said, I want to put my two cents in there. I've seen, I've seen a bunch of flashlight videos out there. You know, I got, I got enough of them to kind of compare. You guys want to know about any of these flashlights? Shoot me a message down in the comments section and uh, like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.